So now you want to create a WBS. To create the WBS, it's created from this tab. You're going to add the WBS and organize it according to what you want to see. But first, how to define the WBS? There's several metrics to define the WBS. One of these metrics is using the POQ, using the company standards, or using the drawings. I personally prefer to use the drawings because it gives you more sense of the project and you can feel how the project is going on and you are more familiar with the project and with the project items so you can understand better but i have seen a lot of planners that go only through poq or just the specs without going through the drawings so the hardest one is to go through the drawings and know exactly what you have and to have a better estimate even you by yourself and how the duration and the duration, the resources and everything is only by going through the drawings. And this is the hardest way. So there's a lot of planners that do not prefer to go through the drawings because of this reason. So here we are going to go through the drawings. For example, we are going to use the drawings for the guard room drawings as seen here. The guard room drawings are structure blowing structure. Not all the drawings are found. Assume like this, this building is for a tender stage. You will have to assume a lot of data, but still you're going to use the data that you have to create the shell. Mostly the architectural, you're going to see the levels and how each and every drawing goes. Let's go through the architectural drawing. This one is an AutoCAD. 